What's up guys, this is LemonDrop148, back here for a third installment of this Let's Play. Uh, last time we left off, I had qualified 29th, which uh, put us pretty far back in the second duel, I think it was. Did it say what duel it was? It doesn't say. But anyway, uh, yeah, raced in one of the duels, finished 13th, so we'll see where that lands us for the Daytona 500. Hopefully somewhere moderately close to the front. I'm predicting 20... 28th, 27th, somewhere in there. Hopefully that's a little bit better than that, but I don't think it is. But yeah, right here, what's this going to say? Oh, average finish, 13th out of one race. That ain't horrible, I guess. 15 miles. Six passes made. 2,000 yards. I didn't feel like I drafted that much. Although, uh, I guess I was behind Stenhouse and Danica. But whatever. Except... Uh, I don't have any Ray, so we're gonna skip to. We'll just go right to the race. I got nothing else to gain from practice. Are you sure you want to skip to the race? Yes. I've already got my fuel mileage figured, mm, drafting mileage, so I think I'm ready to go. Let it begin. Okay, buddy. You've worked hard to get to this point. Oh, okay. Thanks, Ray. I'm just gonna skip what Ray says. It's basically general crap. So. Of all professional sports, only NASCAR begins with its biggest event. Welcome to Fox Sports coverage of the Daytona 500. I'm Mike Joy with Hall of Famer Daryl Waltrip. Mike, the Daytona 500, the great American race. It's the Super Bowl. It's the World Series. It's the Kentucky Derby, all rolled into one. The 500 has always been the biggest race of any season. It has, Mike, and there's the guys that are favorites, but I, I love Dale Jr. in this race. This track means a lot to the Earnhardt family, and I love to see Dale Jr. win this thing. All right, 200 laps. Let's go. Okay, so it looks like Daryl's picking Jr., not us. <laughs> not a big surprise, but I wouldn't really put any money on us either. <laughs> Who's to my right? Is that, uh, I can't think of that guy's name now. Doesn't matter. He's at the competition. Oh, David Reagan. 26. Okay, so I was close. At least we're on the inside. I like that. Except I've got nothing on restarts. That's kind of disappointing. I've got absolutely nothing on the restarts. <sighs> I like how there's a clear divide in the two groups right where I'm holding everyone up. <laughs> Alright, who's behind me now? Is that Casey Mears? David Gilliland, maybe? Either way, how about you quit trying to pass me and pick me up for a draft, you tool? Don't make it three wide. Don't do it. Okay. Whoa, stay off a true X. Golly. <laughs> Remember I, how I said my goal was to not have any big crashes during the 500 because the pack was going to be difficult? This is what I'm talking about. 20 laps? Holy shnikes. Okay, got, got good draft here. Nope. Don't think so, David. Me and Scott Speed's gonna run away with this race. <laughs> He's got Speed right in his name. Gonna let off the gas a little bit. Don't want to get too big a run on him. Oh, got a pretty good hit on him. There we go. Tagged up. Okay, looks like he's gonna go around Truex. What are we doing? Oh, we don't want to get sucker hold. Don't want to get sucker hold. There we go. You want to stay low? I'm gonna go high. Off the gas, gonna tail up with him. Whoa! Oh! Could have been way worse. Ah, I need to avoid that wall as much as I can. <laughs> sure, True X didn't appreciate that. Eric Almirola has the best lap. This must be fictional. <laughs> Here we go, and I'm gonna pick up the draft off of Mr. Newman and. Mr. McMurray, go around him and tail up behind Casey. Bump. Oh, I feel like I'm just hitting this guy a ton. But, man, I keep sliding off the bumpers. I don't know what the deal is with that. Not a good pusher. But. Okay, so we got 8.8 .8 laps. 8.8 uh, .8 laps will be over halfway, so it looks like it's going to be a one pit stop sort of race, which is good. Maybe if I can outlast the guys and there's no yellows, that'd be alright to get a <laughs> sneak a win in that way. That'd be pretty cool. Don't know, we'll have to play some fuel strategy though. 
as long as that pack doesn't get away from us, which it looks like it could. Okay, four seconds is what he has on us. Hey, thanks. Need to catch up with Ambrose and tag up with him. Oh, Jamie Mack has different ideas behind me, though. Oh, dang, that wall jets out. <laughs> That's no good. Could have been way worse than that was. Oh, Newman's gonna go high? No, he's not. Door shut. Awesome. Go, Newman, go. Come on, Ryan. You fellow Hoosier. Let's go. Don't think he really wants me pushing him, but... I don't blame him. I'm not real good at it. <clears throat> hey, we caught Marcos. <laughs> Come on, Newman. Hang the Aussie outside. Go, go, go. We're gonna break 200 down the back stretch. We did it. Don't run the high side. What are you doing? I guess he's trying to keep that momentum, which makes sense. Whoa, a little squirrely. Woo. Come on, Newman. Let's go. Go, go, go. No, don't do that. There you go. Oh, what's that? Fast lap, let him drop. Dang it, got around him. See, my engine temp didn't even go up 10 degrees with all that pushing. Except now I'm gonna slow down. Ah, dang it, I did that again. I'm stuck right in the middle. A little under a second ahead of me, a little over behind me. Except Newman, he's dropping like a fly. Probably because I just got the momentum off of him and took off. It's okay. It looks like I'm gaining some ground on Kyle Bush. I like to put him in the wall every chance I get. <laughs> uh, maybe not. They're going to line up in front of me. Come on. Come on. Uh, who's getting hung out there? Maybe I can... Sam Hornish Jr. He actually wanted a Las Vegas this weekend. I don't know if you guys saw that burnout he did, but it was pretty awesome. He basically nosed the car against the outside wall, stood on the gas. Somehow he kept the uh, throttle down and was hanging out the window, like sitting on the window ledge, with the, still doing the burnout. It was pretty awesome. I've always been a Hornish fan. I like that he got the uh, spot over Almendinger when AJ got busted for whatever he got busted for, some kind of drug use. I like how he got his spot, but then they went and put Joey Logano in the car, which made no sense to me, but if I was them, I'd have put Sam in the car and bumped him up for the Nationwide Series. But Penske didn't ask me, so... <laughs> Later, Kyle. Get my face. So the goal is not to pit until gas, because tires won't be an issue. Eh, phone's going off. Uh, okay, who am I behind? Juan Pablo Montoya. Oh no, okay, so now we're gonna catch a pack. I don't like what's happening. Oh! Juan, is he pitting? He is pitting. Okay, come on, Stuart. Let's motor past these guys. Oh, <laughs> Stuart's either, you know, he's got no room to go outside. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Later, Boyer. Biffle. Bane. Keslowski. Blue Deuce. Nah. <laughs> Deuce. Whoa, he is all over. Okay, fine. He got a little squirrely there. I feel like I may have got into him a little hard, but whatever. Be cool to break the top ten before I have to pit. I'm not sure who that is. Junior. DW has picked a win right there. You know, there's Jeff Gordon. He's good people. What, okay, what are we doing here? Oh no, it looks like Regan Smith tried to pit but couldn't do it. Woo! Oh, he says to come in this time? I think no. I got two laps from right here. Boy, if I can stand it, I'm gonna go till lap 11 or 12. I need to pick up some draft though if I'm gonna do it. There we go. I'm going to let off the accelerator a little bit. 
still maintain speed but saving some gas I don't think so there Carl concrete Carl who's that Kurt Bush meh don't like him <clears throat> who's in front of him oh Casey Kane oh I really want to lead this race 10-4 tie, or whatever my spotter's name is. Hey, <laughs> check it out, guys. We're leaving the Daytona freaking 500. <laughs> what needs to happen right now is there needs to be a caution. That'd be just perfect. I feel like pit road speed is 55. So, I <laughs> hear my little peeper going off for the gasoline. Boy, I pushed that right to the edge. Less than a lap left. And I really don't want to get caught speeding, so I'm going to start braking early. Car up top. Free back. Like oh, at 55. That was ridiculous. Um... If I'm filling up on gas, I may as well get four, so yeah, left bumper. Okay, so we're over halfway. Casey's got to come in this next lap. There's no way, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm not sure where we're going to come out, though. Oh, boy, wore that right side out. I don't know where we're going to come out at. Hopefully, uh, the top 20, hoping. I'm not sure what all or who all we passed uh, while they were pitting, but... I don't know. We'll find out. No cautions, which is mildly surprising. Where am I at? Seventh? Oh, perfect. Who's behind me? Okay, Brad K is. Oh, this pack is going to catch me. Boy, Kyle Busch has got the whole freaking pack basically trapped a lap down. That sucks. Oh, he's coming too. <laughs> Could really use them having a caution. That'd be perfect. Instead of setting up front here like a sitting duck. Gee whiz, Stenhouse in the 8th, he's 30 seconds ahead? Dang. Oh, but they all, they pitted away before me though, so. 7th. <sighs> hmm. Looks like Carl may have tagged up with the group. Nope. Oh, it looks as if Kurt finally had to pit. Oh, look at the ground I'm making on Burton. He's probably up here coming out of pit row. Come on, buddy. If everything cycles through like it was, it should be me and Casey. There's Casey. And second. Okay, now Kyle's first sitting in the pits. Okay, perfect. Hopefully we'll catch Kyle. I mean, we ought to. He's just sitting there. Probably going to have a 16 or 17 second pit. Carl is coming in a hurry, though. Which is fine. So he got help. He does have help. I will let them go around. I don't want to really... Oh! Absolutely perfect. Got to slow down, though. Who was the caution, I wonder? Oh, looks like some pack racing got a little hairy. Oh! Looks like we got Montoya, Boyer. I didn't see who else that was. Am I going to pit? <laughs> nope. Oh, Kyle's still in the front. Urgh. This is going to be tough because I got Jeff behind me and I am slower than a seven years itch on restarts. There's five laps left. Four laps left. <clears throat> going to be close. Going to be very, very close. Uh, if I can just hold him down. Don't want him to get in front of me. He's gonna pop out to the outside. You scumbag. Fine, I guess I'll tag up with Rowdy. Oh, avoid the apron. That's alright. I'll bump draft with Casey. Oh! Actually, let's leave Kyle in the dust. Come on, Casey. There you go. Let's freight train that little Fruit Loop. 
Okay, so now the plan is block for my life. <laughs> Block, 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 four to go, four to go. Boy, look at that, it's just menacing looking. <laughs> it's all the cars behind me. Cue the Jaws music. Dun, 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 dun. It's important in these times to just hit your marks like you know you can. Be aware of who's around you. Like Casey, I do not want Danica up here. Get her out of here, Casey. Wrecker! Ugh. See, obviously, fictional. Danica Patrick's in the top two. <laughs> I like how she qualified on the poll for Daytona, and everyone's like, oh, look how good she's doing. And then when it came to a track where she had to break, then she dropped 40th in qualifying and finished in, like, the 35th or something horrible like that. It was very perfect. And I am not going to let her win this race. I will assure you guys of that. <laughs> I really don't mind most drivers, but... Uh, Danica and Kyle and Kurt Busch, the three of those, they just... Mm. Who's that, David Reagan? Oh, he's a coming, isn't he? Who's he got? Trevor behind him? I think he does. Nope, Reagan Smith. Did I say David Reagan? Reagan Smith? I don't know, I always get it mixed up. They have got a head of steam, though. They're going to try me on the outside. I'll block out there. <sighs> These are the longest four laps. <laughs> Two to go. I've got, I'm way to the good on fuel, so that's good. I hope they don't run the outside. They didn't. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> do not bump me through the corner. I will crash. There we go. Pick me up, David. Don't be a tool, Regan. <laughs> Blocking like no one's business. Oh no, Casey. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Oh, he's going to get around me. No! Oh, I really don't want to race dirty like that, but it's the Daytona 500. You're going to have to. Oh. <sighs> Come on. What tool is pitting right now? Nice. Nice. <laughs> one ma, one Pablo. Figures. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Drop it like a rock. <sighs> okay, here we go. Just gotta keep it steady through these corners. I would be able to beat Bush. Oh, gaining ground on him. He doesn't have a draft partner. Yes. Oh, no. What's going to happen, guys? Oh, am I going to win the first race on this Let's Play? The Daytona 500? Boom! Looks like I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, now I'm going to burn this car down. Yeah, not to mention the Daytona. Woo! Keeping those sponsors happy. I have one. It's a pri or a preliminary one. Take my Polish victory lap. Woo! Oh, the controls are horrible during the... Whoa! <laughs> controls are horrible. Just gonna do the standard burnout across the finish line. What? Well, a little too far. Right about there, that works. Need to just burn out. Go! Oh, so I like how the burnouts don't even work that well. Whatever. I'll tear it up. So up I'm like Dale Sr. Whee! He had one of the coolest burnouts in the infield, I must say. Not a fan of his, but he did. But okay, that's enough. Oh, continue. Whoops. Back. TV3 lane! Ha ha ha. 
That looks nothing like me. I like how the suit doesn't even match the car. <laughs> oh, don't do that, man. Don't do that. You're just embarrassing yourself. Boom! Alright. Let's see who all finished where. Victory Lane suits you, buddy. Nicely done. You've earned a bunch of contingency awards for that performance. Well, but hopes that Daytona 500. Oh, I was ahead of Kyle by about a second there at the end. Awesome. Oh, and I had the fast lap. Man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Continue. Alright. Most pole starts in a single Sprint Cup season. Ooh. Awesome Bill from Dawsonville. Or it could be Bobby Isaac. I don't even know who that is. Which crew chief holds the record for most championships? Ooh, it's gonna be... Ooh, will it be Dale Inman? It's Dale or Chad? I'm going with Dale. Yeah, boom. I think he was seniors crew chief. I don't know. Probably wrong. Woohoo! So yeah, there's the breakdown. <laughs> Danica. Hmm. So as the season goes on, I feel like some of these cars are going to get filtered back, like McDowell, uh, Gillilin, Castle, and a lot of these bigger names are going to be bumped up. But like I said, Daytona is such a crapshoot, you can never tell. Secondary, comp cams. Finish two more races. I can do that. Wheaties! <laughs> Lead two consecutive laps in two races. Okay. Xide batteries. Stay at the top of the standings for two more races. Okay. No primaries offered? You would think that a guy gets. Your car can have a lot went, of whoa. at any time, but you can only have one primary sponsor. Oh. If a yeah. sponsor space is already filled when you receive a new offer, you'll need to choose between them. Oh, whatever. Alrighty, so yeah, there's that. How about that for starting off the Let's Play with a big win? Um, I wouldn't expect that in most of them. <laughs> like I said, Daytona, anyone can win that thing. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. I think next time's gonna be Phoenix? Yeah, Phoenix. I must say I'm pretty pretty uh, solid at Phoenix, so we might actually get two wins in a row. That'd be something, wouldn't it? But uh, okay. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.